Handmaking is a really important part of the way I work. I come from a culture in which there's a strong tradition of making by hand. Whether it's making my own clothes or preparing food or sometimes even making my own furniture. When I see something that I want to acquire, my first thought is always, how can I make this myself? The great thing about clay is that it's got this amazing malleable quality. It responds directly to the interaction with the human hand and records this in a really immediate way. It's really versatile and flexible as a medium. There's a really useful modularity to tiles which allows you to work on a variety of scales from small to enormous and then everything in between. There's also an organic nature to it which allows you to take from it and add to it and to compose endlessly with it. Glaze is a sort of alchemy because the colour develops during the firing. When I'm working, I carry a memory of a whole palette of colours in my mind, but I'm working blind. It could be that I just work on the surface of the tile and integrate small sections of hand glazed elements or use my skills in colour as a resource and work with ready-made tile modules to create huge pieces of work. The glaze becomes liquid during the firing and transforms into this beautiful glass-like surface. And this is quite difficult to plan, but the results can be really complex and rich and often surprising. Colour is part of my DNA, so I always use it with real confidence. It's a really intuitive part of the way that I work. And when I do use colour, I try and push it and play with it as much as I can. I'm interested in the ability of colour to really activate an environment and to generate a strong emotional response. Sometimes a process can be very intimate where I'm handcrafting from the beginning, making the tile and then working on the surface. On other occasions, I could be working on a much, much larger scale, and this can involve the introduction of uh, industrially made tile modules. Previously, I've created work that lives purely in gallery spaces, but now I've become more and more interested in integrating the work within the built environment. I want to stretch the potential of my work by applying it within new contexts, working to new scales and reaching new audiences. Also, it's always really interesting to work to an external brief because that can really push you and pull you in directions that you wouldn't normally venture into on your own. Collaboration is really valuable in the sense that it allows for an exchange of ideas and skills. You really have to grapple with 
ideas and uh, find solutions to problems that are presented. There's a formality to the geometry and precision of a grid, which together with the handwork quality of a surface, creates a really interesting and dynamic relationship. When I'm in the studio and I'm trying to compose, it's almost as though there's some sort of secret sequence that I'm trying to unlock by creating contrast and juxtaposition on a small level and then joining it all up. When you get to that sequence, it's almost as though it unlocks this energy, this sort of visual energy. 